So there's a certain point in the story of Genesis where they leave. Adam has to look at Eve and have this awkward conversation while walking. He says, you know, Eve, <laughs> before you, life in Eden was a lot uh, simpler. <laughs> And there were fifth sized fruits, water balloon ripe, dripping from every tree. The sun smiling into the riding waters of the Red Sea. Butterfly filled kaleidoscope breezes flowing over green silk grass carpeting. Mm. There were long days of doing nothing but titling the artist's newest creations. It was routine and unsatisfying. He told me stories of existing within the void, making me one himself for company. Unfortunately, the spark it took to force breath into clay carries meaning and foreseeable consequences like <laughs> snakes and curiosities. I was my father's first child. I soon gained self-awareness. Being the only one of my kind, my wine sack stomach knew the sickly fullness of too much. Mm -hmm. Before cancer had a constellation to call shoreline, it was you. Beating through my skin, God offered a pry on my heart's favorite rib, created a, create a lover-shaped hole in my chest, but filled a trace space made from fingertips touching with pieces of the very bone that gently listened to my heartbeat's first whispered rhythms, ground stardust fine, reconstructed to the tune of Venus. Mm. The artist compromisingly crafted another reflection so at least one of us could exist who never know being lonely. Mm. And that was my job. When I heard the thunder clap, we'd only been apart a few moments that day. It wasn't fair. People learn about four tongues only after dealing with them. This wasn't your fault. We both wanted to be wise like God. Before you came, I took a bite of the forbidden fruit too. Mm. It's how I knew I was alone in the first place. Mm. I knew we were naked this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the reasons I asked you to jump on the hot fruits and gather berries at the bottom. Of the <laughs> I can't help myself. I mean, you were you were made for me. Mm. We never had to question being soulmates. Mm. Now we love so much like God, it makes him jealous. Mm. I bet one day he even writes a commandment about it. Wow. Mm. My love, let him keep eternity. And I'll die in your lap, head back, your eyes guiding my ascent into ether. I'll remember first discovering how our pieces fit. Learning sensations of life swelling in your belly, the feeling of a new consciousness ripening within your, your vessel, the longing to touch them to your lips more than cage them in your ribs. Let's teach our children that Eden was all rules and gates. Mm. We'll rewrite the history on the walls of caves saying that we escaped. The pain of thorns in my feet will only spur smiles known when I left God. The best thing he ever made came attached to my palm, mm -hmm. my dearest Eve. Mm -hmm. God does not know what he let go of. I will not make that same mistake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not upset with you. This is our genesis. I know now that we are human, imperfect and beautiful. Scratch mirrors playing as their reflections. We were once, are now, and will forever be one. Beyond the day that our clay settles back into earth, we will always have our story. Uh. Besides, if life were perfect, it'd be boring. And thus imperfect. Let's leave Eden to God. We have a world to create.